cabo. Do you have your knee protection? <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I want a photo with it. Yeah, because I asked you, do you want a video? <laughs> ah, I didn't take a picture! <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 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 Where are we? Where's your camera? Jesus. Hello. I don't like it. Hello. Exposed. That's a camera. Well, exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Who would do it in London? I'm pretty sure this is an after the taking. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there was definitely one of those at the airport. Why don't we do this all the time? Right? <laughs> nice and slowly. Not slowly. What? <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Hello. Good evening. Don't have a time. Don't have a time. Who's touching me? <laughs> yeah, that's noise. Scotland and I had an IPA. It was an egg oil. It wasn't fancy. And I met three couples and they're on a trip away from their kids. And one of the husbands was like,
it. Oh, it's so weird when, because I, uh, okay, first, uh, thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you for being here, and um, thank you for taking my child into your arms. So welcoming me, it means uh, the world to me. It's been uh, a heavy birth, <laughs> I'm, um, and I've been working so much and traveling so much lately that I'm close to dying. Uh, but it's also good because I'm so excited to travel around and to talk about the album uh, but I am dying and I have become sick and and so you'll hear me go like a bit sometimes um, yes you have thank you I will ask if I he always has the the sniffle uh, papers for me <laughs> um, yeah, sniffles papers and <laughs> um, yeah you can call me Mrs. Sniffles um, and yeah and I I always find myself uh, wearing this jacket <laughs> and I really, there's something about it that I really hate <laughs> and it's so stupid because I wear it every day and on every interview because it's soft and light and there's something to it that to my neurodivergent brain feels just so comfortable and then I see it on film and photos and I'm like, ah oh, fuck, it's really it's a, it's a fucking ugly jacket <laughs> why? I wear it every day. But yes, here I am again. I just noticed when I did the first song, I was like, oh fuck, I can see the jacket. <laughs> it's behind me. It's there. Oh, oh. oh but it's okay. Um, yes, and I am sick, so I'm trying to keep myself warm. Um, but because I'm so tired and so sick, it was so interesting to feel in my brain how much I was looking forward to see you and to play for you because this feels like a true magical break in it all so I've been truly looking so much forward to this beautiful moment we're going to have together and I'm just really happy that you're here um, and I'm really happy to be here as well um, and yeah okay we're going to do and uh, we're gonna take it down, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Relax. Um, we're gonna take it down a moment, and we're gonna sing a song that uh, means a lot to me. It's uh, song number eight on the album, and it's about, I guess, any human that wants to travel away from the earth, and then your mother is down here and she begs you to come back down and, and I that's what my mother does to me a lot so it's cool
But it also feels like being a virgin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where to look and what to do. But it's, um, it feels remarkably wonderful. Um, thank you again for being here. You're filling me up with all the things I need. I yeah, I love you too. For being here, oh, I uh, I did an interview earlier today, and I came down with one shoe because I lost one shoe, and then I was sniffling, and I was so like tired, so I felt a bit almost like I was drunk, and um, I feel like less of a mess now. I feel like I've really gone up to the top, and I have both both my shoes. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I know, but it's so boring to drink water. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna drink some water, okay? Water. <laughs> any value and we haven't given them any home and I feel like we really need to prove to our soul that we are its ruler and we hear it and we will guide it by being just decent, empathic, good human beings and I think about what's happening in Palestine a lot when I sing this song because I don't understand how in the modern time, in modern times like this, that we can disagree on whether something so heartbreaking is wrong or not. I don't understand. Um, and this I wrote with Frederick, who is here. Give him some love. I feel like it's, it's guilt talking to us in this song.
Misunderstood by the world. <laughs> um, and I know when you get misunderstood again and again and again and again by the world, you need to build some kind of protection, some kind of armor, some type of skin. And it's so important, the art of building some type of skin, to not go too far, to let the sun in because then it's only darkness and we should always be made out of both darkness and light and so this is <laughs> sometimes <good. laughs> I 
Like, oh, you know, a little bird told me, and I was like, what the fuck? Where the fuck is this bird? I'm gonna take it, gonna shit in his nest, gonna destroy his life. And then, because I'm so, I feel so woozy, and I thought it was really funny to just, yeah, I'm sorry about all of that. But it was really nice, it was a nice time. Um, okay, now. We're going to do one of my personal favorite songs. And this version is very different uh, from the album. You understand why. You know. Because we're three people and it's impossible. But I cannot wait to play this in Glastonbury. Because uh, then we have all the muscles that the song requires. And, uh, but this is very the essence of the album. That I'm so afraid if the world stops speaking to our soul, if all the music we listen to doesn't carry anything bigger than our ego, and if the food we eat makes us sick, and if our connection is only through the phones and through numbers, and artists who are beautiful souls and want to create, they have to focus on like internet content. Imagine how it kills our beautiful brains, this kind of shit, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then we, there is so much that scares me that is important. And we, we lost connection to nature. We lost our understanding of how important and powerful nature is. And you see what we did, we completely ruined nature. And I am scared to where our path is going. And we can't even have empathy with the children that are dying for some useless, massive war. And it's, it just blows my mind, this world right now. And I'm not a pessimist. I'm just really eager. <laughs> I, I, I think we really have to change. And I think we are capable of it, because Jesus Christ, we are beautiful as well, as you see. But this song is about this, that our souls are starving. Mr. Rock 
really want to sing the last song on the album. Because, <laughs> because I feel like Invisible Wounds is something that is very hard for us to carry. Because we, we have no proof that they're there. Besides the fact that they are, it's hurting us and only us. Unless we start hurting other people, because we are in pain, but that's another discussion. Um, yeah, because I guess it's about trying to fix other people when you're broken, and then you realize you have to go and stitch your stitch yourself up as well. Mm-hmm. 